What's up YouTube? Dan here and welcome to another squad builder. Today we're going to be doing a 3-5-2 formation around Ferrate. He's a silver centre defensive midfielder who costs around 30k. So before we start there'll be uh, definitely one episode of my AC Milan career mode tomorrow. But if you want two episodes all you have to do is leave a like. And if we reach uh, maybe five likes pretty quickly I'll definitely upload two episodes. So in goal we do have Mandanda. I've gone over him before. If you haven't seen my League One Strut BPL squad builder there'll be an annotation on the screen right now. So he's in goal. At first centre back we do have Mangella from Porto and he's also French so he links in with Mandanda. Cost me 2k, really pacey, really good defending stats and including his heading which is 80. So on to our best centre back maybe of the three, it's definitely Pepe. Plays for Real Madrid, really doing well in real life and he cost me 9k in a probably like a four at the back formation. He'd probably cost around 8, 8k but as it's a 352 formation he is going to cost a bit more. So our third centre back is Kabul, links with Mangala, our first centre back we went over. He cost me 2.8k, really pacey again, a bit similar to Mangala. And he's really overpowered, as is Mangala. So on to Verate, um, as I said at the start of the video, he plays for PSG and he costs around 30k. And I, I got him for nearly 28k. So he's quite pacey for a silver guy. He has 67 defending, 77 dribbling, six, uh, I think that's 62 shot and 76 passing, really good silver player there, and he costs around 30k. So on to our second centre defensive midfielder, we do have Gian Martino. Doesn't link, link up with many players yet, he links up with Pepe and Mangala, but you're going to see our left midfielder he links up with, and it is Elisu, the really pacey player from Malaga. So he links, in, links up with Martino and Pepe. He's quite pacey, only has three, three star skills, and he is the upgraded version. There was a 75 rated version of him, but he's gone up to a 78. He, his pace hasn't gone up, but he has got like better shooting, better tackling. So our right midfielder isn't actually a right midfielder, but he still gets full chemistry. It is Jeremy Menez from PSG, also French as well. Really good on this game, four-star skills. He has really good pace, really good dribbling. One of my favourite players on the game, in my opinion, and he only cost me 2.4k. So a real bargain there. So really enjoyed playing with him, 81 rated as well. So on to our centre attacking midfielder, kind of brings the team together, it is Lucas, the transferred version from Sao Paulo, I think it was, to PSG. He cost me 5.4k, sorry, 92 pace, 88 dribbling, 4 star skills. He did have 5 star skills on FIFA 12, he would be worth a whole lot more on FIFA 13 if he did have 5 star skills, but he's left with 4 star skills. So our first striker is um, Wellington from Spartak Moscow, I think it is, he cost me 2.4k, does the job, 92 pace. 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. So our second striker is Alexandre Pato. He's also got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. And he's really pacey, really similar to Wellington. He cost me 5k and it is the transferred version from AC Milan to Corinthians. So on to the chemistry. So there is a couple of players that do get 6 chemistry. There's a lot of dead links. But there's also a lot of players that do get 9 chemistry. And that leaves the team with 100 chemistry which is all the all important thing. And I think the team gets 99 chemistry without a manager. So I've got a couple of substitutes who would actually fit into the team. We've got Wagner Love, the transfer version. We've also got Mavuba, sorry. And he can link in with Verate. So, and then we've got Galas, and that's about it. The rest of these substitutions are just random players who can just play if someone gets injured. So that's about it for this squad builder. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. And as I said earlier in the video, there will be two episodes of my AC Milan career mode. And I can't wait to bring that to you guys tomorrow. It's a really fantastic series. And there's definitely going to be a lot of episodes this week as I am on half-term break. So as I said, there will be two episodes. So thanks for watching this. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.